Welcome back, sports fans. I'm Kane Heink. And I'm Riley Zanstra. And we're here under the lights at Ram Stadium, live for some men's soccer action. For tonight's matchup, we have the Rockford Rams versus newly added rivals, the Jenison Wildcats. After an absolute blowout in their last meeting, we will see Jenison look to try and get even tonight. You know, Riley, the Rockford boys team has sure been an incredible unit this season. The team has accumulated a 7-2-1 record, which is good for second in the OK Red. You're so right, Caden. The Rams are known for their outstanding defense and are led mostly by their seniors. Surprisingly, Rockford freshman Dugan Black leads the team in goals with five so far this season. The amount of goals this team scores sure does make a unit that is hard to beat. When the Rams have lost this season, it's been due to their lack of attempts shooting the ball. This occurred in a game such as East Kentwood, where the Rams lost 1-0. All teams do have weaknesses, but this team is so well put together and have showed it with wins against Hudsonville and West Ottawa, winning both these matchups by two or more goals. If the Rams can pull out a performance like these tonight, they sure will be able to put points on the scoreboard. The Rams do have a great team this season, but their opponent, Jenison, is not one to take lightly. They're 2-7-1 and one battling in the tough OK Red Conference. The last time these two teams faced off, Rockford won by taking advantage of a weak Jenison defense. If the Wildcats want to pull off an upset victory, they're going to have to tighten up in the back end and do a better job of controlling the possession. I think another focus this Jenison team needs to have tonight is just overall creating more opportunities for themselves. They lost by five goals in the last faceoff. As we know, Riley, anything can happen, and this is truly going to be a high-octane game that will keep us and the crowd on their feet. There's something special going on at Ram Stadium. If you take a look at the Rams jerseys tonight, they're wearing pink uniforms. The Rockford team's wearing these uniforms as they're holding a cancer awareness game in memory of Tom Treisenberg. Tom was a ref and a coach for the Rockford soccer program, and sadly in May 2020, he passed away due to cancer. Tonight, the Rams honor Tom and give him memory by putting on this event. All proceeds of tonight's event will benefit the Make-A-Wish Foundation for Cancer Research. It's cool to know that it's bigger than soccer here at Ram Stadium. Now before we send you into live action, it's crucial we share the Rams injury report for tonight's matchup. The Rams tonight will be playing without junior players Drew Boltman and Davian Gums. These are two crucial losses as Davian's the second highest scorer on the team with four goals and Drew's also a crucial threat up top for the Rams. The Rams will definitely have to rely on other options tonight to get the job done. That's all we have for our pregame here at Under the Lights. We will see you in just a moment after the first half. And welcome back to Rams Stadium here live. We have content of the Rockford Rams versus the Jenison Wildcats. Jenison trying to increase tempo now on the Rams. They know that they can't let the Rams just sit back and hold the ball. Aaron Woods will regather possession around the attacking field. He's going to have a good ball in to Ben Betrell. Betrell crosses it in, trying to find Aaron Woods, number 10, and he's going to get it for the Rams' goal. This man is fast. His name is Dugan Black, their leading scorer for the Rams. Aaron Woods will get the possession, kicked it in, missed goal. Amazing save by Jenison goalkeeper. A short down left shot by Aaron Woods will fall in connected. You have to say, Riley, if you were Rockford right there, would you have tried to get the ball to the leading scorer, Dugan Black? I think Aaron was lined up for a pretty good shot, and he was pretty close, but it was strange to see Dugan open and not taking the shot. And the Rockford's going to take possession around the edge, and there we go. Dugan Black will find the goal for the Rams. Jack O'Malley back on the ball. It's been stolen by Jensen. Jensen on an attack right now, and stolen by senior captain Ryan Weingarten, who's going to make a push for himself. Can he set something up here? Ryan's moving quick down the field. Passes to number three, Alex Ducey again. Going to cross it in for Bryce Bongers. He's going to try to get it back to Ryan Weingarten. Oh, oh. Just short. An amazing goalie play by Jenison. Rockford might just try to hold the possession or not. They're going to kick it down to Bryce Bongers, who has the lead. Bryce kicks it back to number two, Dugan Black. You need a shot if you're the Rams. 14. A great curve shot. It will go wide over the net. Riley, at the end of the first half, what do you think was the key moments of the game? It's a 2-0 lead for Rockford right now. What were some of the key moments that we saw? I think some of the key moments were Aaron's first goal because it set the pace and the momentum for the game. And I think that Matt had a few good saves that really inspired some confidence for the team. I cannot help but comment on Dugan Black, number two, the freshman, his sixth goal of the season. He'll stay the number one goal scorer for the Rams. Those are all key moments so far that we have seen. But now we will send you down to Zoe Hazelwood, who's live at midfield with Coach Tim on what the Rams have done well in the first half. 
What do you think the boys did good this first half? I think we did a really good job of possessing the football. We did a really good job of attacking the ball. Um, one thing that we did really well was playing balls back into the goal. Um, as long as we keep doing that and we don't give up anything silly in the back, we'll be fine. Um, right now, we've just got to get some composure. We're up two goals. Um, play a little bit smarter in the middle, keep winning 50-50 challenges, win the second ball, find our outside mids, get on the back post and we'll get more goals. Do you think there's anything that the boys can do better for next half? Um, yeah, they just need to work a little bit harder. Um, we kind of played down a little bit to Jenison. Um, they attacked us a couple too many times where we should have really stopped them in the middle. Don't give them opportunities to go forward. So in my opinion, yeah, we need to work a little bit harder. Um, we'll make some changes at half and then we'll get a couple guys in that didn't play already. And this is the second half kicking off. Jenison will start with the kick. 40 minutes timer starting now. Immediately the Rams are on the ball, very tight, very aggressive. Recovered by the Rams. And cleared out by the Wildcats now. Rams in back in possession. And cleared back to Jenison. It's been a back and forth start. It's a tough battle around midfield. Pushing down Alex Ducey, number three. He's had some nice skills early, but he hasn't made a quite the impact the Rams are looking for. Kicked out by number three, Alex Ducey. The bench like to that one. Throw in by Jenison now. Jenison's moving quick, but the Rams recovered the ball and already moved down the field. Number 10, Aaron Woods, making a move towards the goal. Great, great tackle by Jenison in their defense. An amazing header by number 12, but it'll remain in the possession of the Wildcats. Evan McCall. Okay. Rams are still in possession, making moves towards the goal, sends it down to number five. That is Ben Betrell. He's a junior for the Rams, an amazing skill, keeps possession, he's gonna look to cross it back in. Hits it in to number 10, Aaron Woods. Gonna pass it back to number three. Shot missed by Alex Ducey. And number three, Jenison, passed back and no one's gonna claim the possession. Number three, Alex Ducey's in. Goalie is down, Alex Ducey has the ball. Crossed it and gathered by the goalie. Unreal goalie play there by Jenison. A huge mistake that could have been costly. The goalie will recover. Jenison, very thankful, nevertheless, that Rockford could not equalize on that opportunity. Evan we McCall with the ball, making a move towards the goal. Sends it up to number eight. Andrew Worth now crossing it back in. Blocked. And number 10, Aaron Woods nearly had a chance at his second goal. Another missed opportunity is something that we've seen a lot in this second. Tennyson goalies had to make a lot of saves already early in this second half. But a stout play that he's had. Cleared out now by number 18, Michael Royce. Ben Betrell back on the ball, sending it down the field quickly. Tries to whip it into number 10, Aaron Woods. Nothing there. Sending Federich will pick it back up as the Rams stay in attack. Dugan Black, the speed's thrown out right, going to go get the ball. Makes Amazing some moves, avoiding defenders. Heading towards the goal. Can he get another shot? Defender's going to get to it, the ball before him. It's out on Rockford. It's unclear who will be taking the corner kick for the Rams. But it will be whipped in. Way over. Going for Reed Weingarten. Just over the head. Alex Ducey will regain possession for the Rams. Looks for another cross. Going to get into Dugan Black. Kicked out temporarily. Aaron Woods, a couple good moves, and will be kicked back out to Alex Ducey. Ducey's going to whip it back in for Aaron Woods. An amazing shot. Even better save now by the Jensen goalie. There's 440 to go. Jensen sent it down the field. Kicked in the midfield. Number 23, Caden in defense. That's number six, Cody Obenhoff now pushing. His first touch as a Ram. Rewind our back. Sophomore to sophomore. Sends it up. Cody Obenoff on a nice touch for the Rams. A pass in by number 21. No one would be there. Hustle out of Ben Batrell. Get the ball back up to 19. Bryce Fonger sends it to number 20. Here Jack we go. O'Malley on the ball. He's been known to score in these opportunities. We kicked out of bounds. He'll be cleared back out. Trevor Reamer now on the ball. He'll touch it out to number 20. Cody Weber. It's wide open, moving towards the goal. Cody Weber's going to send one into the box. The Rams trying to make something happen now. Kicked out to number 19, Bryce Fongers. And it'll be cleared out for temporarily for the Wildcats. Cody Weber now on the kick. He's going to push it forward. Intercepted by Jenison. Passed into number 25, Jack O'Malley. He's going to try to make something happen. O'Malley kicked up to number 5, Ben Bacharel. A shot, a near miss. 
30 seconds left. Deep kick, Jenison trying to get an opportunity. Kicked into the Rockford defense, shot by Jenison, saved by Rockford. Another one of the good saves that Rockford's had all night. You wonder, you wonder if the Rockford goalie was gonna be cold as there has not been many second half opportunities with him, but he steps up to the challenge. With 10 seconds to remain in the game, that is all we're gonna see here with Rockford versus Jenison. An amazing game with an amazing cause and a Rockford victory. A 3-0 win for the Rams. And that's that for the Cancer Awareness game. Rockford with a 3-0 victory. And now we're going to meet you down on the field with Ryan Weingarten, a Rams player, number 11. We saw him check out early in the game, but he played a key part when he was in. We're going to meet you down on the field live with him on what his thoughts of this game were. Good game, Rockford. I'm Riley Zanster with Beyond the Rock, signing off. And we're live here on the field with senior captain number 11, Ryan Weingarten. Ryan, tell me about how tonight went. What did you guys do right to make this game happen? Uh, we worked really hard. We won the ball uh, in the middle really well. We controlled, we possessed, and uh, we finished the ball in the end. So that's good. That's why we came out 3-0 on top. Tonight you played with younger brother Reed Weingarten in the back. What's it mean like to play with your brother out there tonight? It was awesome. It's been 16, however many years in the making. And uh, it's been my dream to play with him in the back. So it was really fun. I've been waiting all season for it. An amazing victory tonight for you guys. What do you guys have to come in the future for the Rams? Uh, we got a big game against West Ottawa on Thursday and then two more OK Red games and then hopefully we can win out and take the OK Red and then we got districts and postseason play after that. Great. Thank you, Ryan. This has been Caden Heink with Under the Lights here at Rams Stadium. We'll see you next time.